Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, I'm here with the next series in my round robin tournament, um, single elimination tournament, best of three for each series. And today, we're going to have the 1961 Phillies going up against the 1979 We Are Family Pirates. And uh, we will see how the uh, Phillies fare in this uh, best of three series against the world champion 79 Pittsburgh Pirates. So without further ado, I will get on with the game. Uh, you will, um, I'll have the uh, lineups um, up on the screen, but you can follow along as the people come up. The Phillies are going to be the visiting team for game uh, game one, and the Pirates will be at home, and then we will go to the Phillies for game two, and if a game three is needed, then we will come back to Pittsburgh. So, uh, pitching for the uh, Pirates today is Bert Blylevin. Bert be home Blylevin. And uh, he will be pitching to Tony Gonzalez to lead off the game, and Tony Gonzalez is playing center field for the Phillies today. And he gets a 6-3, which is a ground ball, left field X. The left fielder for the Pirates is a 2. And that's a 7. That's going to be an out. So Gonzalez is out. That brings up Johnny Callison. He gets a 1-10, which is a double. So Johnny Callison... Gets the first hit off Bly Levin. And he is down at second base with one away. And that brings up Wes Covington, who is today the DH. And he gets a 4-7, which is a triple 1-3 to three or a single. That's going to knock a run in. And it is a single double asterisk and knocks in a run. So Blylevin has given up two hits and a run in the first three batters of the game. And that brings up Don Demeter. And he gets a 3-10, which is a home run 1-18. I told you, this 61 Phillies team, don't sleep on them. That's a home run. So Don Demeter... Gets a home run, two run homer. Bly Levin gives up his third hit in four batters. And he's already down three nothing. And that brings up Charlie Smith. And he gets a 4 4, which is a fly ball center field. He's out. Charlie Smith playing third base today for the Phillies. And that brings up. Pancho Herrera, and he gets a 4-6, which is a strikeout. And that's the first strikeout for Bly Levin, but he gets uh, he gets hit up a little bit there. And the Phillies score three runs to take a 3-0 lead into the uh, bottom of the first. Where they will try to get that back off of Art Mahaffey. Omar Moreno is the first batter. He gets a 2-5, which is a fly ball to center, so he's out. Mahaffey gets the first batter, just like Bly Levin did. Bill Madlock comes up. He gets a 1-6, and that's a pop-out to second. He's out. And that brings up Dave Parker, and Dave Parker gets a 1-4, which is a ground ball, third base. So the Pirates go 1-2-3 harmlessly there, and the Phillies maintain their 3-0 lead going into the second inning. And bringing up Ruben Amaro, the shortstop for the Phillies. And he gets a 2-6, which is a walk. The Phillies are just all over Bly Levin. I don't know what's going on there. Maybe Bly Levin was uh, worse than I thought I remembered him. Tony Taylor is up, and he gets a 1-5, which is a double 1-5 to five or a single. And that's going to be a single double asterisk, so runners are at the corners. And 
that's another hit and already the pirates are going to be looking at the bullpen and they will be looking at Jim Bibby will be getting up for the pirates in the pen with uh, Clay Dalrymple up runners at the corners no outs and he gets a 5-6 which is a double one to 19 this is incredible double knocks in a run knocks in at least one and uh, the uh, lead runner is a 1 to 16 and that was hit to center field Omar Moreno's arm I'm gonna guess is not the greatest his arm is a zero so it's gonna be a 1 to 16 coming home and he does make it so that's another run knocked in by Dalrymple and another run given up by um, Blylevin and it's 5 nothing Phillies and that brings up Tony Gonzalez who gets a 2-3 which is a ground ball second base A that's one away Johnny Callison gets a 4-6 which is a strikeout And Wes Covington gets a 2-6, which is a line out to first base. So after a rocky start in the second, um, Bly Levin settles down a little bit, but he gives up two in the second, and so the Phillies have a 5 to nothing lead on the 79 Pirates. This is not exactly how the 79 Pirates wanted to start this out. Willie Stargell is up. He gets a 2-5, which is a strikeout. He was in the column for a home run, but he didn't get it. First strikeout by Mahaffey. That's a 5-9, which is a strikeout. That's the second strikeout for Mahaffey. And that brings up Bill Robinson, and he gets a 2-5, which is a strikeout. Mahaffey strikes out the side. So not only are the, is the Phillies offense clicking on all cylinders, but really even Mahaffey is. So we got Don Demeter coming up. He gets a 111, which is a ground ball, second base B. So he's out the second time around. After hitting a home run the last time, Charlie Smith is up. He gets a 4-8, which is a home run 1 to 9, no, 1 to 10. Home run 1 to 10. And that is a double. Charlie Smith with a double. And that's going to be it for Blylevin. They're going to bring in Jim Bibby. Oh wait, he didn't give up a run yet. Not yet. But that runner would be charged to him if he scores. Um, yeah, so that brings up Pancho Herrero, one out runner at second. That is a 3 7, which is a strikeout. So Bibby K is the first guy he sees, and that brings up Ruben Amaro, who gets a 5 7, which is a strikeout. And Bibby strikes out the second guy he sees. So no runs come in there despite the fact they did get a man on as far as second base. And really this Phillies offense is all over the Pirates pitching. Bill Garner comes up to lead off for the Pirates and he gets a ground ball to the third base so he's out. Ed Ott comes up and he gets a 112, which is a pop out to first base. So Ott is out. And that brings up Tim Foley, who gets a 2 4, and he grounds out to shortstop. 
no runs come in for Pittsburgh and we go to the top of the fourth and the 61 Phillies holding a decisive um, five nothing lead over the Pirates Tony Taylor up he gets a four six which is a ground ball to the shortstop and that's Foley and Foley is I believe a two no he's a three 13 and three at shortstop is a one base error so Tim Foley makes an error and it just continues to go south here for the uh, the Pirates they can't seem to play at, at all well here Clay Dalrymple it gets a 3-8 which is a ground ball shortstop double play so two down so Bibby's come in and calmed things down a little bit. Gonzalez is up. He gets a 2-4, which is a ground ball second base A. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Philly still holding a 5-0 lead. Omar Moreno gets a 2-7, which is a pop-out to first. So the uh, Pirates back at the top of the lineup. Bill Madlock gets a 4-9 which is a single. That's the first hit for the Pirates. And Bill Madlock gets it. Uh, you might have guessed he would have got been the guy to maybe get their first hit, but you would have thought it would have come a lot earlier than this. Uh, Dave Parker is up. He gets a 3-9, which is a single. So now the Pirates are mounting something. Willie Stargell's up, and he gets a 2-5, which is a strikeout. He, again, he was in the column for his home runs, but he didn't get and get one. So that's the fourth strikeout for Mahaffey. And up steps John Milner, and he gets a 2-6, which is a fly ball to right field. So the Pirates get nothing in the fourth. We go to the top of the fifth. And, uh, oh, by the way, um, as you know, this tournament pits a usually good team from their, their season against a bad team from their season. The 1979 Pirates were 98-64 and 64 and finished first in the East and went on to be the world champions in 1979 by beating the Orioles in the World Series. The 1961 Phillies were 47 and 107 and that's the team that holds a 5-0 lead here in the top of the fifth with Johnny Callison up. He gets a 2-9 which is a strikeout. One away. Wes Covington is up. He gets a 4-5 which is a pop out to first base. Two away. Or wait a minute. Yeah, and then Don Demeter. And Don Demeter gets a strikeout. So let me, uh, two. I think Blylevin went two and a third. So Bibby has so far gone two thirds, one and two thirds, so. He's still got something in the tank. Uh, Bibby that year pitched uh, 138 innings and was a starter reliever. So, probably has a lot of innings he can go. The Phillies got nothing in the fifth. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Bill Robinson up. He gets a 2-8, which is a strikeout. One out. Phil Garner gets a 6-6. Six, six which is a double one to 12 on Demeter's card. And that is a double. So Phil Garner, scrap iron, hits a double. That's only the third hit Mahaffey has given up. And Ed Ott comes up after him. He gets a 6-5, which is a strikeout, two away. Fifth strikeout from Mahaffey. And Tim Foley up, and he gets a 5-7, which is a strikeout.
we go to the top of the sixth. Top of the sixth inning, 5 0, 1961 Phillies over the 79 Pirates. Charlie Smith up. He gets a 6 4, which is a fly ball right field B. Pancho Herrera gets a 1 6, which is a walk. Bibby so far has not allowed a hit. That's the first guy he's allowed on base with a walk. Ruben Amaro gets a 2-6, which is a walk. So the Phillies have two guys on. Both via the walk. With only one out. And Tony Taylor up. And he gets a 6-7, which is a walk. Bibby walks the bases loaded after one out. And that brings up Clay Dalrymple, and he gets a 6-7, which is a walk, and forces in a run. So, the problems continue here for the Pirates. Tony Gonzalez up, he gets a 4-5, which is a pop-out to first. So, Gonzalez is out. He hasn't had a very good day. He's 0-4, for 4, but his teammates have had a great day. Johnny Callison gets a 4-7 which is a strikeout. So, uh, the Phillies do get another run. They tack on another run, and it is now 6 nothing. 1961 Phillies, incredibly, over the 1979 Pirates. Omar Moreno back to the top of the order again. 5-10 is a ground ball shortstop. The shortstop is Amaro. He's a two. That's going to be a single because it's a two. So Moreno works his way aboard. Um, they're down six nothing. Otherwise he would steal, but they really need base runners and runs. They don't need people stealing and trying to get one run. Five three is a pitcher card, and the pitcher is a uh, fielding three, and that's a six. So six and three is an out one. That moves him to second anyway. So Madlock is out. Fielder's choice, one away. Dave Parker is up. He gets a one eight, which is a walk. So there are two on now with one out. Mahaffey with his first walk of the day. And that brings up Willie Stargell. Pops. And he gets a five four, which is a catcher card. Clay Dalrymple is a three. That's an 18. 18 and three at catcher is, roll again. That is a 15. 15 and three is a foul out. So there's two away. Stargell out. And that brings up John Milner. And John Milner gets a 1-5, which is a three-run home run. And all just like that, the Pirates are right back in this thing. You knew it wasn't going to be that easy for the 61-47 win uh, Phillies. Or did you? So anyway, that brings up Bill Robinson. And he gets a 1-4, which is a pop-out to second. So the Pirates strike for three, and the score is now 6-3, 61 Phillies over the 79 Pirates. Wes Covington is up. He gets a single one to 13, and that's going to be an out. So Covington's out, and all of a sudden now you can see the slight shift. Don Demeter is up. He gets a... 2-6, which is a strikeout. And Charlie Smith is up, and he gets a 5-6, which is a strikeout. And no runs for the Phillies there. So let's see. We're going to have some action in the uh, Pirates' pen. 
two and a third, two thirds. Enrique Romo is up in the Pirates bullpen. As the Pirates go to hit in the bottom of the seventh, Mahaffey is still out there. Mahaffey that year pitched 219 innings. So he's no, uh, no stranger to pitching this deep into a game. Phil uh, Garner gets a 1-7, which is a single. Ed Ott gets a 5-8, which is a fly ball left field B, so he's out. One out. Tim Foley gets a 3-12, which is a pop out to second. And that brings up Omar Moreno again, and he gets a 4-7, which is a walk. So the Pirates have two on with two out here. Second walk of the game from that Mahaffey has surrendered, and Bill Madlock is up, and he gets a 5-5, which is a home run 1-18. to Are you kidding? And you're not. It's a, it's a three-run home run for Bill Madlock, and now the Pirates are right back in this game. As he gets a three-run home run of his own, and they really tie the game up at six. So Mahaffey, who was cruising, all of a sudden really is not cruising anymore as we have a tie game and Del Rimple comes up or no Parker Parker Dave Parker comes up and he gets a 2-8 which is a strikeout so uh, yeah there's gonna be action in the Phillies pen after that uh, <clears throat> So coming on for the Pirates will be Enrique Romo. And the Phillies are coming up in the top of the eight. And they will have Pancho Herrera facing Enrique Romo, the new Pirates pitcher, he gets a 3-7, which is a strikeout. Strikeout for Romo. Ruben Amaro comes up, he gets a 6-6, which is a ground ball second baseman. Second baseman is Phil Garner, and he's a 2. That's an 8, that's going to be an out. And that brings up Tony Taylor. And Tony Taylor gets a 5-11, which is a ground ball to the first baseman. The first baseman is Pops, and he is a 4 at first. And that's an 18, so let's see what that is. That's an out with no runners on, so that's it. Tony Taylor is out, and the Phillies get no runs in the 8th. We go to the bottom of the 8th. And now there is a new pitcher coming in for the Phillies. Mahaffey is done after seven. And that will bring up uh, to pitch Ken Lehman. So Ken Lehman's coming in for Mahaffey, who was cruising for a while through five innings of this game, but then just hit a rough patch that he never really pulled out of, giving up three runs in the sixth and three in the seventh to the Pirates, and now the Pirates batting in the eighth with Pops, Willie Stargell coming up in, 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 the, in the flesh, and he gets a 6-8, which is a single. Lehman giving up a hit. John Milner up. He gets a 211, which is a fly ball right field B. One away. Milner is out. He is um, 
He'll give way to Bill Robinson with one out, and he gets a 2-4, which is a ground ball double play, and the Pirates go 1-2-3. Lehman retires the side. We go to the top of the ninth. With the Phillies um, tied, the 61 Phillies tied with the, the uh, 79 Pirates, and Clay Dalrymple, the catcher for the Phillies, up, and he gets a 4-7, which is a single. So is that Philly is that Philly attack rekindled? Let's see. Tony Gonzalez gets a three six, which is the double one to six or a single. And that is gonna be a double. So now the pirates have to play the infield in. I mean they just there's no choice here. Johnny Callison up with the infield in. That's a 6-8. And that is a ground ball to the shortstop. X. The shortstop is a 3. That's a 6. 6-3 six, is an out 1. But uh, that is not going to happen because the infield is in. Let's see a ground ball resulting in a hit. Yeah, all right. Um, all right, so the runners hold as I figured. So Callison got out. There is one away with runners at second and third for the Phillies. And that brings up West Covington. And he gets a 110, which is a single double asterisk, and knocks in two runs. West Covington. That was West Covington. If I said it was Callison, sorry, I apologize, but it it is uh, Callison. Knocks in two runs that Romo allows. The Phillies are ahead by two with an out in the inning. Demeter is up. He gets a 4-3. 4-3 is a strikeout. So Romo strikes out only his second man here, and Charlie Smith is up, and that's a 5-10, which is a walk. So now the Phillies have two on. They have a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a uh, rally going again. Although there is two outs this time, and then that brings up Pancho Herrera, who gets a five-seven, which is a strikeout. So Romo strikes out the man, but the Phillies score two, and they take a. An eight to six, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Eight to six lead. Layman is still out there for the Phillies, and Phil Garner comes up and he gets a 210, which is a pop out to short. That brings up Ed Ott, the catcher. He gets a 2 5, which is a strikeout. And you really don't want to leave this up to Tim Foley, but he did hit 288 that year, so he will bat. And that's a 6-7, which is a single one to nine. And he does get it. So Tim Foley does keep things alive for the Pirates momentarily. And that brings up Omar Moreno. And Omar Moreno gets a 5-6, which is a fly ball left field B. And that ends the game. The Pirates go down, surprisingly, to the 61 Phillies by the score of 8-6. And the next game will be in Philadelphia with them going in with a one-game lead. So they got to feel pretty good about that. But for right now, that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.